Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect cafe latte at home. Now, I love cafe latte, and for the past couple months, I've been on this latte kick. So first thing in the morning, instead of getting my regular coffee with cream and sugar, I make myself a cafe latte. But um, I love lattes, but I really hate going to the, the coffee shop and spending four or five bucks every time I want one. But when I first started making them myself, they just weren't turning out that great. They were kind of bitter, and I just couldn't quite get the process down so that it tasted as good as the ones at the local coffee shop. But I figured it out, and today I'm going to teach you a really simple, easy way to make a perfect cafe latte at home. Now, I make my cafes with uh, lattes with this uh, just cheap cappuccino maker. It works out great for me, but I know not everybody has one. So, to uh, kind of try an alternative method, we're also going to experiment making a latte with this hose and garden sprayer and we're going to see which one works out the best. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cappuccino to the espresso maker. I'm going to put two scoops in because I'm just making this for one. That didn't make much sense, did it? Once I get the grinds in here, I'm going to pack them down with a tamp. Now I don't have a professional tamp, I just have this little guy that I bought in a packet of about a hundred from Walmart and it works just as well. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pack it down once, kind of smooth it out and even it out and then pack it down uh, a second time. Not too hard, but just enough to get it firm. Now, now I'm going to attach the basket to the espresso maker and flip the dial to the froth attachment and make sure that's closed. Next, I'm going to use six ounces of water for a single la cafe latte. Okay. A long time ago I broke my carafe, so this measuring cup works just as well. And of course you want to use a really cool mug for your cafe latte. It's really important that your milk is very cold, so I always chill my frothing carafe. Okay, now the key to a great latte is that we're going to froth the milk first before we brew the espresso. Now, most of the time people have it the other way around, but the longer that that brewed espresso sits there in your cup, the more bitter it gets. So if we froth the milk first and then pour it in as soon as the, the uh, espresso is brewed, that's going to make for a really smooth and really delicious latte. Three. I fill up my carafe about a third of the way, or enough to fill my mug after the espresso is added. I first get a good froth on the top of the milk by just putting my attachment right at the surface and getting a, a good foam before heating up the rest of the milk by submerging the attachment a little bit deeper in. Now, the more fat content in the milk, the more dense a froth you're going to get. So, you'll, for whole milk, you'll get a really uh, thick froth, but it's going to be more calories. Now, heat your milk to about 160 degrees. If you have a thermometer, great. If not, I just test it with my hand to see how hot it is, and that usually works out fine for me. Once I'm done, I always swirl the milk around in the carafe to give it a little smoother texture. Immediately after your froth, go ahead and brew your espresso. The trick is to brew your espresso as quick as possible and add the froth as fast as you can to it. For a really nice presentation, hold your froth back with a spoon, fill up the cup with steamed milk, and then just lay your froth on top of it. And there you have it, the perfect cafe latte. All right, uh, we've just gone over the uh, techniques to make the perfect at-home latte. Some of the key points you want to remember here are you want to use really cold milk and you want to use a cold carafe, so keep it chilled in the refrigerator. The next thing that you want to do is when you're frothing that milk, you want to try to get the temperature up to about 160 degrees and you want to keep a lot of movement in that carafe. So if you've got a thermometer, that's great. If not, you can just use your hand to gauge how hot it is and uh, that always works fine for me. And then the most important thing is you want to froth your milk first and then immediately after brewing your espresso, you want to combine the milk and the espresso. That will eliminate the bitterness of having that espresso sit for a moment. Now, that milk is also going to tend to separate as it sits there, so ideally the faster you can combine those two things, the better. Now we're going to take those techniques and we're going to apply those to our hose and sprayer version. Just like with a machine brewed latte, you want to make sure that your carafe is cold. Now most people's hoses just put out cold water, so I'm going to attach the end to a faucet in the garage so I can brew myself a hot latte. 
Now it's time to add the espresso. Now you'll see on this sprayer, this little attachment is going to keep the espresso from mixing in with the water as we brew it. So I'll just put a couple of scoops, same proportions as I would if using a machine. Next I'll add the milk. And again, I'm going to put enough milk in the carafe to, to fill up my mug after the, I've brewed the espresso. Same proportions as I would use for a machine. Next, I'm going to attach the carafe to a garden hose using one of these quick link attachments that you can get at the hardware store. I want to be careful not to use cold water. I want to use the hot water. Now I'm going to set the dial to provide enough flow through to really get a good brew. You want us to press Over here. Start? No, it's, it's going right now. Oh, grody. And then we want to make sure that we uh, we kind of get a good look at the froth oh, that's there. So grody. All right, now for the taste test. I'm going to start out with my machine brewed uh, latte and uh, try it out. Mmm, that's just perfect. No scent, no no hint of bitterness. Uh, all because we brewed the, uh, all because we actually uh, froth the milk first and then brewed the espresso second and immediately put the milk in the uh, espresso. Hmm, that is so good. All right, now our, try our, uh, our hose end sprayer version and uh, see how that tastes. <coughs> oh, that is nasty. That is absolutely disgusting. Um, <clears throat> All right, there you have it. The uh, perfect latte to make at home. The hose end method, um, hose end sprayer method, don't try that. It's just absolutely nasty. But to make that perfect latte at home, froth your milk first, then add it to your uh, espresso. It's, it's smooth. It's absolutely delicious. And I hope you enjoy your latte. Have fun and eat well.